find you somewhere else to go. My mom ended up like getting all my stuff, you know, putting the trash bag and sh they ended up throwing my stuff in the yard. <laughs> You must like what you see. You must like what you see. Will you see Cherry Marie? What's up, Marie Mafia? It's your girl Cherry Marie, and I am back with another video. Another one, and another one. First and foremost, let's get into this jumpsuit I have on. I have this jumpsuit on from the Cherry Marie collection. It's long sleeve and long pants and it's stretchy. And yeah, it's cute. So if you guys like this, go ahead and check out my website and add this to your cart and check out. So I can go ahead and ship this to you, okay? The link will be in the description bar. And check out my website for other things too. Cause that, everything I got, baby, I got more. It's more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus size friendly, average size friendly. And yeah, we're going to get into this video. So like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification to keep up with me. But let's get into it, okay? Fatality later. Okay. So I actually got kicked out of my parents' house. And yeah, we gon' we gon' get into that story on why I got kicked out. See what happened was. So at this time in my life, I was in a fresh um breakup stage. <laughs> okay. I was straight out of a relationship, okay? Like, I was on some, I'm single, you know, doing me stuff. You feel me? I wasn't, I wasn't just, you know, I'm saying, I wasn't just bop bopping and, you know, two whopping. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? I wasn't doing the most is the point, bruh. Like, stop trying me. I wasn't doing the most. But I was just, you know, dating. Like, this is the first time I'm single. I'm cute with them. I have you, you know, straight out of a relationship, glow up. So, you know, I'm saucing on them folks like that. You know what I'm saying? Period. 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 So, I made me some dating sites. Made me a Tinder, you know what I'm saying? P.O.L. What else I made? Like, I really think Tinder and P.O.L. What else? I really think that's, those are the two, I think, because I ended up meeting my boyfriend off of um, P.O.L. And yeah, so basically this is how it went down. And I told y'all all this so y'all could like, get a feel for how this point in my life was like me and my parents like okay i'm fresh out of high school you know i'm 18 well when i graduated i was 17 but you know that summer in july i turned 18 so i'm fresh out of high school you know suburbs baby you know what i'm saying sheltered baby you feel me i wasn't about none of that you know what i'm saying but i was about some you feel me because i wasn't the one like, and that's just, I always been that way, like, I'm, I'm sweet, but I'm sweet until I ain't sweet. Me and my parents, I ain't gonna lie, like, I guess I was labeled as, well, I would, ain't no, I guess, I was labeled as a disrespectful child, one of the problem child, the black sheet of the family, you feel me, because I just had, like, I just told y'all how I am, and I guess, you know what I'm saying, that came off disrespectful ways to my parents and stuff so they already you know what i'm saying was fed up with me now i'm graduated and in my head what i would like what i believe is y'all was waiting to kick me out like y'all was trying to find something to kick me out about that's what i think well at least that's what i was feeling like you feel me like 
this is just a side note me and my parents and my you know family relationship it's a work in progress still you feel me like though like a hey, more stories coming okay but so <clears throat> let me jump into how i got kicked out so met this dude I met this dude, like, so I was talking to multiple dudes, right? But then I met this one dude, like, but everybody, like, I was talking to, I made it very clear, hey, I ain't trying to cover nothing. I'm here for fun and fun only, like, you know what I'm saying? Fresh out of breakup, you feel me? I'm trying to enjoy my breakup and fully heal and, you know, love myself and enjoy this little time that I got. But I guess I'm just a wifey material type of person, like. Everybody be trying to cuff me. Like, as soon as I jump out of a relationship, like, like, as for us, like, right now, oh, yeah, the waiting list is out the door. <laughs> I'm waiting on you at the door. Fool, baby, like, don't play with me. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I'm for real, though, like, I'm wifey. Like, I'm a good girl, but I can be bad, too. You feel me? Like, and I guess I'm, I'm cute. Like, I'm cute with them. I'm Cherry Marie. And that's it, Pooh. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, I keep on, like, really, I don't know. This is like the first time I'm really just, like, you know what I'm saying? Telling it. Like, and just, you know, I'm still trying to remember exactly how it went down because. I do have memory loss problems and that's a whole nother video. And yeah, so okay, so met a dude, we start dating, you know, he he live in Macon, he from Dublin, you feel me? He a country boy, you know what I'm saying, big sexy and he ended up putting it on me and making me fall for him. Like I, I told y'all I didn't want no boyfriend, but Hey, <laughs> he made me want to cuff. It was it was it was good enough to make me want to cuff. So I followed him, just like you know what? This dude, I mean, the dude, he tall, handsome. He he got that street in him. You feel me? Like, <laughs> and he he got he got you know what I'm saying? He making money. So I end up letting him come. And I guess like I guess my parents didn't like him. Like I don't know why, like at this time he didn't give them any reason for them not to like him. Like he came to the house, you know, it was all good and couple steady. It wasn't nothing like they like he wasn't disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it was now. He like he think that it was cause he had dreads at the time. Like he was a dread head. Like I'm telling you, the dude imagine this tall dude about six foot got dreads. Big country boy, real manly. Like he could play both roles, you feel me? Like he a street dude, but he country too, you feel me? Just like try that. to get it. <laughs> so met this dude and yeah, after me and him started dating, my parents started tripping, you know, they started giving me a curfew. They ended up giving me a curfew basically that a seven o'clock curfew, baby, and I'm 18, baby. Bitch, where? With a boyfriend, baby, like, what are you doing? You knew, you knew that wasn't going, like, 10 o'clock is really reaching for an 18 year old, you feel me? Like, y'all try me with seven o'clock? And I'm already a do what I want type of person, so.
one day me and him oh yeah oh yeah wait 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 my parents also okay this is like the list of things that my parents were just like doing okay one y'all made me keep my tracker on like you know on the phone you made me keep that thing on anytime i cut it off y'all was up my twat Y'all also gave me 7 o'clock curfew. Okay, said that. Y'all also gave me... What else y'all did? Oh, yeah. Y'all banned me from making. Like, okay. I live in... What time? I was living in, like, the outskirts of one ride, which is Bonaire. So, living in Bonaire, you know what I'm saying? Got my own car. You know, I'm, I'm whipping that 1999 Honda. You feel me? Oh I'm pushing, I'm pushing the pedal to the metal, I'm gonna make it for him. <laughs> and then, look, y'all, like, okay. Yeah, I used to sneak out, you feel me? But I didn't get caught, you feel me? But until I did get caught. But that's another story, okay? We talking about why I was homeless. And how I got kicked out, you feel me? So, <clears throat> they banned me from making, and that's basically, so, you want to keep my tracker on so you could see where I'm at. So, really, the places, the only places they want me to go, like, after I done got cuffed up, got me a boyfriend, they don't like boyfriend. So, y'all end up telling me it's work and home. And that's it. Oh, and school, because I was in school at the time, too. And I just so happened to end up taking classes and making like at CGTC, which is Central Tech, y'all didn't know, but yeah, I will take classes at um business classes at St. Georgia, and yeah, I used to, you know what I'm saying, before school, after school, between class, I'm pulling up at his grandma house trying to see him. Don't judge me, but you feel me? Whenever you feel me, like. <laughs> I start around the world for the kids. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Get what? My whole check money. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all feel me, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all feel me, okay? Comment down below if you do feel me, cause I know I ain't. I know I ain't the only one. But anyway, so yeah, and I end up skipping classes sometimes. And yeah, like this dude ended up becoming, you know, a bukoon. I'm with you 24 7. I'm, I'm, hey, where we going? Where we pulling up to? <laughs> uh, yeah, so one night, the night that I finally got kicked out, y'all, I went my boo. You know what I'm saying? They gave me the 7 o'clock curfew. Like, I bought it by it now for like a good two, three days, by five. But then I'm like, okay, now y'all reaching. Like, come on. I done did what y'all said. Proved out. I'll listen for a little bit. Like, what y'all doing now? Like, come on. Y'all tripping. And y'all know. I'm twenty. I'm I'm 18 at the time. I'm 18. Out of high school. Graduated. In school. Got a job. Like, what? I should be able to do whatever I want to. Because out there at high school, I'm in the house. You know, I wasn't doing much. I wasn't going out like that. Like, like, the only time that I really went out was, like, prom, homecoming, basketball game. Like, my sister cheered at basketball game, so went there sometimes. But most of the time, I was on punishment. So, your girl, like, live. Like, I, I imagine your whole school life, you either got your phone took or you on punishment. So, I'm grown now, baby. I'm trying to live. I done, I done stayed in the house, you know, had my phone took while I was in school. Did that and that. I'm paying my phone bill now. And, yeah, like, they really felt, well, I think my dad felt like, okay. Well, first it was, okay, I'm taking your phone because I pay for the phone. So, I started paying for my phone. Then it's, oh, um... You got to be where I want you to be, basically, because I bought you this car. And I paid for your insurance. So, then I started trying to pay for insurance. You feel me? So, either way, I made me happy. 
Like, you feel me? Like, if you try to, I'll hop over and figure out, you know what I'm saying? But, so, this the night, so, this the night that I got punished, like, I can't remember either, it was a day I had to work, I was working at Old Navy at the time. I drove to Macon, dropped my car at the head girl my house, ended up hopping in the car with him. Yeah, I think that's what happened, yeah. So, ended up hopping in the car with him, and you know what I'm saying, we end up doing what we do, you know, run streets, and get high, smoke, A, weed, not A, don't try me. <laughs> Most definitely was poking that gag, 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 like, listen, anybody who know, know, okay, so, like, when I first started experiencing making, I'll tell you, I'm like, oh yeah, this is it. Like, like, whole throughout high school, I was so sheltered and scared. Like, I was like, oh, no, I'll never live in Macon. You hear me? Like, ooh, like, what? Like, no self-incrimination, okay? So, scratch that. But either way, I was on that gas, okay? So, it getting late. We at one of his homeboy highs, you know, chilling. And, you know, we looking at the clock. I'm texting him. I'm texting my mama. I'm like, hey, mom, um... I ain't going to make it, basically. Like, I ain't going to be home by 7. And I let her know that. And I think, I don't know, either they start tripping, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure I cut off my location. Probably. But either way, the reason I got kicked out is because I didn't make it to my 7 o'clock curfew. And that was just like, the, this is the ice and then this is the hand right there. That's just like, whoa. Yep. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember exactly how this went though, like, okay, I'm pretty sure my daddy was asleep, my mom was up when I got home, like, you rest, well, I'm rushing home, like, oh, let me hurry up, get out of here, like, so, I probably got home around 11, like, I probably got home around 11 or so, because, like, I was having fun, you know, and I'm like, bruh, 7 o'clock, like, come on, like, come on. What is this? Like, I'm having fun, you know. Yeah, so, ended up bucking the system and got kicked out, you know. Shoot, my mama, um, sh I remember when I got home, my parent got a little, you know what I'm saying, they was mad, you know what I'm saying. Uh, 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 you're about to hear you keep that grown. You think you're grown, you think you're grown, be grown, find somewhere else to go. <sighs> so, my mom ended up like getting all my stuff, you know, putting the trash bag, and she, they ended up throwing my stuff in the yard. I remember I called my boyfriend. Now, this was like a really like kind of choppy night because it was so hectic and it was so dramatic and it was so much like so it's kind of choppy memories I remember but I do remember calling my boyfriend I'm like yo you got pulled up you folk my mom over here trying to fight me they keep me out is that net da 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 it is cold and it's raining on this night y'all like it was cold it was raining and like, yeah, that was like, it literally like traumatized me, like the cold being rainy, you know, my parents really kicking me out, you know, like I'm cold, ain't got on the right clothes, ain't got no socks on, like it's cold AF and it's February, it was February. I believe, right? Like, like, yeah, it happened to be like, I think probably about the end of February, like February-ish, I got kicked out. So, you know, in Georgia, it still be like, you know, it, it get cold and nippy, like that time. So, yeah, my boyfriend ended up coming, you know, saving me and picked up my clothes. I'm just crying, I'm just upset. And he just like, oh, well, we gon' we gon' figure something out. So we end up getting a room for the night, and 
it went down from there i must say like after that it got so freaking real like bro they took my car keys so i didn't have a car no more you know time so basically that's how i got kicked out um and then after that started staying at hotels motels wherever like we had money and that's so crazy like both of us we had money but whenever you are put in such a like when you put in a situation where you have to think and it's basically in the moment you know you wasn't planning on being homeless like you wasn't planning for this stuff and it's like he never had an apartment he was with his grandma i was with my parents i'm fresh out of high school i don't know anything like i don't know about real life i don't know about anything and yeah it just it it was so hard because okay basically so say we started off with a lump sum money but paying for rooms having to eat you know you stay in a room so you not you can't just buy groceries you gotta eat out you gotta get mcdonald's wendy's you know wherever and then at the same time like because because you know i will say this like i'm gonna keep it so 100 drugs and alcohol become like kind of like a need like whenever in like i used to judge so hard like i'd be like oh my god like you know see a crack homeless crackhead you know see a um a drunk a drunk homeless dude like he stinks pissy smell like i used to be so judgmental but honestly whenever you're homeless whenever you are in such a crappy situation you're so depressed like i already suffered from deep depression like all my life you know and like at this time like i was just now coming out of that depression and stuff now that i was able to have like more freedom and i was going out you know and doing me and doing stuff make me happy so yeah drugs being high not being in your right mind becomes like kind of a priority as well i must say like shoot you gonna sit here and be you know sad you gonna be depressed like what are you gonna take some drugs get drunk get high and be happy like at least for the moment but i know it's like yo it's for the moment blah, blah, blah. like y'all can say all that but whenever you really down bad that is the only thing you got to look forward to like literally you ain't got shit to look forward to but being high being drunk so yeah i said that so y'all can kind of get so where's all this money like and then we like honestly now it's different like like now that i've been homeless i know exactly if i was to be put in that situation again if i could start over i would do it again and repart where it's high and you know what i'm saying like things would have been different now that i am or was homeless and i know the mistakes you know made mistakes learned from them and all that and came back out of homelessness like i was homeless for nine ten months that was five months ago almost six so i'm still recovering and you know rebuilding my life completely from the rock bottom and yeah and shoot I ended up losing my job. He ended up losing his job. I got fired or slash I quit. Like I quit so I wouldn't get fired. 
but y'all gonna hear about that in another story but um yeah so after that you know you know you making that last check stretch at this point you know you trying to figure out how we're gonna flip it so it just either way we end up being completely freaking broke and we had to make make we'll try to make lemonade out of lemons like tried our best but that bit was sour nine times out of ten because it wasn't no sugar and yeah so guys that's really the story of how i got homeless and yeah like I would, I could say so much more. Like, I know you guys, like, y'all have plenty more questions. But trust me, you guys will definitely hear more. Because this video is already getting long and stuff. This video was just to let you guys in on how I got homeless. And you guys will hear about, you know, some of the things that I went through. And experienced and seen and all that good stuff when I was homeless. So hit that like, comment, and subscribe button to stay updated with your girl and to hear these wild stories because I promise you, this is only the beginning, okay? This is the beginning of when it all popped off. And when I say it popped off, it popped off. But I don't have any regrets, I'm gonna say, because it definitely made me into the hardworking hustler that I am right now today. It has most definitely helped me mold into the cherry marine that I am today. It helped me to be more motivated, you know, like it took that laziness out of me. It took that, like everything. Like I literally started whenever all this happened, I was so naive, so gullible, so green, so, so much like so innocent and whenever you're put in a situation like that and you're homeless and it's really do or die you have to make some decisions some tough decisions out here and nobody can judge me but god and i know he's on my side like i'm all right with god like me and him we good so i don't need none of y'all to judge me i don't need none of y'all to judge my parents, I don't need none of y'all to say nothing. Like y'all, what y'all not gonna do is talk about my parents. None of my blood, y'all not gonna talk about nobody, okay? Please don't play. <laughs> like the comment section will go off in a heartbeat, baby, play. <laughs> but anyway, this is just the beginning of my Teen and Homeless series. Like probably 18 and Homeless series because that should tell you like this girl was a child out here on the street like what did you do how did you get out of it girl like five months ago and now you also ceo ish like how y'all gonna know how very soon so stay tuned marie mafia we out baby deuces <laughs>